students, this is Miss Darcy. I just wanted to give you a couple ideas of things that you can do with your kids at home when you want to give them something a little different to play with. All the kids love water work. So here's some fun water work. Get a little ice tray, fill it with water, put a drop of food coloring on blue on each end, and then a drop of red here, and maybe a drop of yellow over here, right? And then get eyedroppers. Love eyedroppers. This is really good for their pincher grasp, right? Makes their fingers work good. And they will squeeze and release. And squeeze and release. And look, blue and yellow makes green. How exciting and fun. And they will mix and drop the colors in each one. Red and blue makes purple. They can make green and purple and do some really fun color mixing. And they will sit there for a while and they will drop with the eyedropper and they'll make lots of colors, lots of fun. They do this for quite a while, so I recommend this one. They always love to do color mixing, okay? So there's one idea. Here's another idea. This is really fun. So any kind of empty bin or tray is good. And then you take our favorite thing, baking soda. And you can dump a mound of baking soda in, right? Just dump it in there. And then you can take your food color. And I love children to do things for themselves, except for food color. <laughs> I suggest you be in control of food color. And don't be afraid, put a bunch of drops on there, different colors, red, green, blue, right? and yellow. I just squirted it all over. Now this is the fun part. Get a little container and get some white vinegar, right? And you can give this to your child. Put that there. Here's the vinegar. And here's another eyedropper. Oh, it's so cool. So they squeeze and release and they will drop it onto each one and it'll start to foam. So maybe I can bring that cell phone over here and we can watch it foam up. Look at, I'm squeezing and releasing. I'm squeezing and releasing. That's what I tell them all the time, squeeze and release. Oh, look, I'm making lots of foam. And then they do this for a long time. Then they get, of course, really excited and they go, it's a volcano! And it's really colorful and they can do this and have some fun with it. And then they might do the eyedropper again and have a colorful volcano in the thing. And then they like to stir. So be sure to give them a little metal spoon and let them stir all the colors together. That's another fun part of it. And then when they've had enough fun, you can get them to go rinse this in cold water they can do a part of the cleanup and that's a really great thing. So have them take it over to the sink and rinse it and they'll watch the, col the colors go down the sink. So that's a really fun one. It's one of my favorites. We do that all the time. Another good work to do is uh, make some stew or soup. And I always tell them this is not for eating, this is just for fun. So one of the ways we make sure they don't want to eat it is you put magical food color in again, yellow, and blue makes green. I always like mixing things for the kids. And so what do we mix in to make our uh, stew? We like to mix. I like to mix different smells. So we have some green herbs. This was tarragon. Um, this was rose petals, lavender, and chamomile. Um, and then in here I have cornmeal and flour. And I also have some uh, coriander I sprinkled on top. So they can scoop, they can scoop like that. Scoop, scooping is a really good thing to learn. They can sprinkle. I have lentils, they can do lentils. And they can do tarragon, and they can do beans. And they can take some noodles and break it up in there. And then of course the fun part is pouring. And mixing, pouring and mixing, pouring and mixing, and give them a chance to make their soup. 
I like to mix it in a couple different ways. You can do green herbs one day and you can do uh, cinnamon and clove and nutmeg herbs the next day. So, Or you can do all the smells together, anything that you like. So it's really nice. Your kids will love to mix and stir and pour and scoop and beans. Make sure you watch them as they do this. Don't go too far because we want the beans and the lentils to go in the stew, not somewhere else. <laughs> okay, have fun at home and I will see you guys soon. Bye!